Welcome back, lords and ladies. King Rubber right here, and I'm your host for this evening. So we're doing the tutorial a little bit differently because I was asked to uh, in a previous tweet. Um, so in this area, I'm just laying down the foundation, a uh, shape of the entire build. From here, I start bringing up the pillars by a three more. That way, I can get the first room started. I also cap it off with another color to give it some color later on. Right here I'm giving you a first person narration of how the detail is to look for the bottom row. As you can tell I'm putting kind of an arch to allow for uh, the shape of the build. Then I bring it up a little bit more, that way I could start working on the second row. As you can tell, I already have the build uh, built. It's just a matter of replicating for you guys to see how it goes and that good stuff. Now I start filling in the floor with a sandstone where the uh, floor and, and or ceiling, depending on which part of the build you're looking part at, is. Um, this is that way we can get the floors separated easily and we know where the build needs to begin. So here's the third person point of view. So I'm going to be placing upside down stairs with a fence post on top, birch fence post. And in those areas where I forgot to put the arches between the two pillars on the lower part, I'm going to be adding them in. We can't forget the top row now, so we put in the arches mind you that the arches will be cha changing a little bit on one of these rows the top row or the bottom row now i'm putting the upside down stairs and i'm putting the fences on top of them here shortly but before i do that i'm going to be adding in the windows uh area so i'm just going to be using the same material i've been using this whole time it keep with consistent and add in stair an upside down stair and making the um, windows too tall so right here we're going to start adding in the top detail to the top windows it will be different by a little bit from the bottom windows because I will not have a top wooden uh, frame, but I will have the bottom wooden frame. I'm just going to go around and do that to all these areas. <clears throat> I don't put a block right there where the door is because that's going to be a patio and I don't want them to uh, have trouble getting onto the patio. I'm just testing out to see what I can do to make it look good. But now that I've done what I thought would look good, I'm just adding in the windows for the bottom row now. I'm keeping it consistent with the top row a little bit, except that I might not or may have been adding in stairs. But um, that's where the bottom row, I add in a, another area down in front that way I can make it look good later on now I'm adding in the wooden frames for these bottom ones as you can tell I put a top wooden frame compared to the top one that has no top wooden frame Dude, <clears throat> I'm doing that all the way around Now I'm adding in the missing 
upside down stairs plus I'm trying to get that corner piece to actually get a little bit of detail with the top part I'm adding an upside down and right side stair and in between those I'm going to be putting fences for a little extra detail that will be needed I'm using the birch fences to keep coincise with the wooden frames on the exterior part so I'm bringing down the top block to a half slab for a good reason because I wanted that purple strip to show and now I'm bringing up by two stairs in order to give it like a railing around because I want to, people to be able to get on top and do their little thing so now I'm connecting all the rails together and giving it a nice little wavy form to it We can't forget the bottom row where the patio is, so I'm going to also do that area there. I'm going to be adding half slabs where those purple strips are, and then I'm going to be adding in full blocks. That way I can try to put in more detail where they need to be. As you can tell, I added in <laughs> stairs in those areas to give it a uh, rough feeling. It is important to make sure that you did those slabs because you want to show that purple. Now I'm going around adding in stairs on the bottom that look like it's supporting the outside. It also gives that extra um, depth that I've been wanting. So now that all those stairs are done, we're going to be doing the floor. So right there, I'm thinking that the birch wood is like a tiger pelt. And then I add in this extra sandstone around in order to give it uh, a flooring. Now I'm adding in ferns uh, just to give it feel. And these um, banners are like flags or something like that. Um, right here, I'm removing the grass so I can add in my floor and I'm going to be uh, starting on the interior work now that the exterior is practically finished. So I'm just going to be back and forth a bit. Here I'm outlining the room with upside down stairs that uh, gives it a little detail that most people would probably not notice but, or maybe will notice. Now I'm adding in the tables and the chairs. I'm using white wool, um, not white wool, light gray carpet as the tabletops. A reason why I'm using, uh, now I'm building the bathroom. Every building needs a bathroom, so I'm making sure I have a bathroom here. Just a little tiny room, maybe a two by one. Now I'm making the stair a well where the staircase is going to be. And right here I'm putting in a tiger pelt once again. More tables for people to sit at. But I'm trying to maneuver it that way people can get between it but at the same time we have enough tables because I need an area for the kitchen which I'm building a dance area right there for any belly dancers and or well you get the drift now I'm building the countertop for the bar okay over on the other side I'm building a staircase up right here I'm back at the bar I'm trying to figure out what looks nice and that little bit there looks nice I'm just adding in a little bit extra detail using furnaces slabs chests you name it it looks like a kitchen which is what the aim for that area is now we put a chair up there at the bar up here we are working with the area uh, in first person um for where the people will be sleeping Now here comes the part that I actually enjoyed the most uh, out of this build. I've never done a rooftop 
uh, eating uh, eatery or whatever you call it, a dining area on the rooftop. The clay blocks underneath were actually suggested by a friend because originally I was going to try something else, but this actually looks good and it gives a little more color, which was needed. So that um, trap door that's on the bottom there that allows people to get up into the eatery area. And I'm just adding in tables and the um, trap doors as part of the pots. I will be doing the same on the bottom area there. That way there's more eatery. And there you have it. So if you lords and ladies enjoyed this, please uh, leave a rating and comment and subscribe. I'll catch you lords and ladies next time.